Hey guys! Welcome to Emberscape, Yarek here. And today I wanted to talk about the bugs that are called Assassin Bugs. Well, that's not the real name, it's just like an acronym or something like that. The real name is here. I won't even try to pronounce this one for obvious reasons. And um, why I want to talk about them? Because I happen to have a piece of them, or rather few pieces, all three pieces. And yeah, the pieces are uh, kind of cut, but not really polished. And I have to repolish them before we can look at them, because they are so tiny, like few millimeters at most, and I can't even tell for sure that these uh, which I own are assassin bugs. So we will see them clearly only after we inspect them with the microscope. So let's go ahead and inspect the pieces and let's see how they look like. Okay, so let's see what we got. So yeah, these insects are from the order of Heteroptera, meaning they are true bugs. And these are the daughters of the true bugs, except they are really tiny. Like grown up only up to 4 millimeters. <laughs> These ones, like the biggest one, like two millimeters, smallest one, even less. And upon closing this inspection, one of the pieces is little bit damaged from the top, so we will have to fix this damage, and it will be quite dangerous because, as always, the insects are from the very top. So, and the rest of the pieces just needs repolishing, and we will go right ahead to make some pictures. So yeah, I will fix them with uh, sandpaper. I will try start from 1500 grit because I need to be very careful with this damage. So it took like a few seconds and as you can see the damage is gone. Now we just need to repolish the piece. And this is the biggest specimen, <laughs> can't tell what it is looking like this. Like it has the features of the assassin bug, but if you don't know what you are dealing with, you might think it's just some sort of fly, weird one. While I'm still working on the piece and repolishing it, I wanted to share a few facts about the true bugs. Heteroptera is Greek for different wings, most species have four wings, with both membranous and hardened portions, called hemilitra. And assassin bugs is not official term. Uh, assassin bugs are called the bugs who prey on another bugs. And these three specimens I own, the Enitsophalidae, is quite poorly understood group. They are called unique headed bugs, or gnat bugs and a family is registered around 300 species, but the real number is probably a lot bigger. Only recently scientists started to paying more attention to this species of the true bugs. I had some trouble setting up the lights, because these insects are super tiny, and all of my insects are juveniles, basically babies, and with my microscope it's quite uh, challenging to make decent pictures of such small insects. These gnat bugs are extremely rare in Baltic amber, but in Burmese amber, which is dated 100 million years old, and that's the pieces I own, it's Burmese amber, they are a lot more uh, common, but still quite rare. I was quite lucky to obtain these pieces. The unique headed box is one of the more basal taxa within Heteroptera. The small size, unique morphology and cryptic habits of the most unique headed box are the main reasons that most genera and species are poorly known from the biological and taxonomical point of view. And now I'm talking about the modern gnat bugs, and <laughs> thanks to Amber, we can compare them 
to the ones that have existed 100 million years ago. As I mentioned before, they reach sizes up to 5 mm long, so they are quite <laughs> tiny predators. And predators because they mostly eat other bugs. These bugs exist in all the corners in the world, and they have it on their leaf litter, rocks, tree bark. Uh, depending on the life cycle, uh, there are some species that form swarms of sunny patches in the woodland, resembling behavior of the midges. And speaking about my specimens, the biggest one is in the worst condition, he is oxidized the most and have this uh, common black color when something is oxidized inside of amber. Best condition one is the one with spreaded wings, but he is also the smallest one. And the most unique piece is the one with tons of debris, uh, but uh, unfortunately, because of that debris, it's very hard to see the bug with the naked eye. So yeah guys, that's about it for this video, I hope you did enjoy it, if you did, subscribe to the channel because I will provide more content like this and see you next time, bye!